Hey everyone, this is Joe. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a slightly different video. We have a studio vlog. The first studio vlog was up on the channel when I released the first Etsy drop and now this studio vlog is all about how I created the seven new sticker sheets that I have released on Etsy. thought I would show you the whole process from start to finish because I don't know, I find it interesting and I like watching studio vlogs so I thought I would, you know, do my own. And this one's going to be quite a long video because I have three weeks of footage and I filmed almost every day. Um, but as usual, I start my morning off with some really good coffee. I am using a V60 dripper um, pour over setup and everything that I own is pretty much Hario because that's my brand of choice. And I have a Bonavita kettle and a I forget what kind of, I have a brat song core so it's a pretty straightforward pour over setup and i do a pour over every single day even on work or school days because um i i just love the flavor of pour overs and yeah i am a little bit of a coffee snob and even though i love my outro and my videos i cringe a little because that was before i got into drinking black coffee um there's no shame in putting cream and milk and sugar in your coffee but um I don't know, I'm a pretty hardcore um, pour-over snob now, so that's interesting. I still love my Tim Hortons double-double, uh, so don't get that um, mistaken. I still like having milk in my coffee from time to time. Um, but yeah, I make this coffee every morning. It takes about 10 minutes, and every morning I also fill out my bullet journal for the day. And today I have a whole bunch of stuff to do. This was, I think, a Sunday, so... Um, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward, I guess, I don't want to say work day, but it's a dedicated Job's Journal day. So I do a lot of Job's Journal stuff on Sundays. Um, so I'm writing my to-do list out and this is so therapeutic. I do this every morning too on my regular work days, um, but I write it in my work bullet journal to write my work tasks for the day. After my morning ritual, I headed out with my sister to grab some groceries and then we were welcomed with some beautiful rain. It is full on Vancouver season now and I love it and hate it at the same time. It's about 12 noon. I kind of just had a chill morning. Um, we went out to get some groceries, walked to the grocery store, and now I am trying to edit a quick um, video. Um, this is going to be posted in October, um, so I'm going to do that, and then I have all of this to tackle today. I'm going to have to reply to you YouTube comments, so I'm just going to get started. Okay, I'm going to record a voiceover, and I need to leave it in 15 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> hey everyone, this is Joe. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very, very quick journal with me. I'm going to call this a journal blitz because... I basically created this spread in under 20 minutes and this was a bit of a challenge for me because some days I could pretty much spend like hours. Um, today, um, well this weekend actually, Indigo which is um, chapters here in Canada is having 30% off for teachers which is amazing. So. Um, I bought this, what is this, um, iPhone cable, but it's six feet long, so I thought I'd keep this in my backpack. Um, yeah, and it was on sale, so it was $16, then 11 and then 30% off. Then I got another journal, oh my gosh, okay, so I got, uh, Leuchterm 1917.grid notebook. It is in the A5 size, and it's the same size as my Archer and Olive, um, grid notebook it's also a5 size also has 160 pages this might have more actually nope 251 pages it has thinner paper and the paper is cream um it's the same as my where'd it go my bullet journal this is um a6 so it's half the size um but i don't know i might not keep this for myself i might give it as a gift i'm not sure 
And then I bought another gift for someone, just a little something for someone, maybe an additional gift. Um, I just bought this little ring bound notebook. It's cute. Um, my friend was looking for a journal, and I remember that. Um, yeah, I remember that she needed one, so this is a good, good price. Cute little something. Yeah, and that's it. Um, I didn't buy any books because I read all my books either on my phone uh, by audiobook or I read them on this. So, and I still have a bunch of books um, on my bookshelf that I have yet to read. So, yeah, that's my little haul. Um, let's get started with the to-do list. After showing you my mini haul, I grabbed my to-do list and kind of looked at some of the easiest tasks that I could complete, and then I got to it. I worked on some YouTube comments, answered some emails and questions, and then I got to the nitty-gritty, which was the editing of Instagram photos. And I'm someone who really sucks at posting on Instagram regularly. I used to be so good um, when I was living in Korea, but... Now I have to pre-plan my post, so I batch edit a whole bunch on Snapseed, and then I use the Buffer app to buffer a whole bunch of photos that will automatically post themselves um, on a certain date and time. So if you're wondering why I consistently post on some days, it's because I have that wonderful app. Okay, so it's about um, like 6.30, and I pretty much finished everything on the first page of my to-do list, so um, I responded to the L the comment about Kelly Perky and the stamp set. Um, I buffered a whole bunch of things onto my buffer app, which helps me post on Instagram um, remotely, so I don't have to do it myself. It just kind of posts a photo when I want it to be posted. So I pre-scheduled a few posts, and then I uploaded a video onto YouTube, and I did all the fun stuff like filling out the description bar and whatnot. So water the plants, I am going to do that, well I've done half, so I'll, I've done half the plants in this room, I'll do the rest later. Um, brainstorm four sticker sheets for the next Etsy release, so I've scheduled that as September 29th, which is Sunday. Um, that's going to be intense, so I have basically today up until Saturday to finish creating those stickers and uploading that onto Instagram. So, not Instagram, onto Etsy and then promoting it on Instagram and YouTube. So I want to have a YouTube video posted on the 29th. You know, it might be this video actually, this this studio vlog, uh, talking about this new, well, the new sticker sheets that I haven't designed yet. And then plan Etsy release timeline, reply to YouTube and IG comments. I need to do that later. Try mock-up of junk journal version 2 regarding photo, using photo page. I'm going to delete that. Um, I don't have time today to do that. Draft out supplies needed from Opus and Deseris. Oh, I was I wanted to go to those two shops today. I might have to go next week. Um, we'll see. Um, while I'm designing the stickers, I'll know what I am missing. So, okay, I guess I'm going to plan my timeline now. Hi, uh, it is like 5? It's probably 5 p.m. Um, I thought I was going to be more productive today, but I've been in bed for a while now. So I went out for lunch with my family and then went to the mall to do some shopping. I was going to buy some pants uh, for work, but I ended up buying a cardigan from Muji and it's so nice. Uh, but I should probably get back to work and look at my to-do list and all the other things that I need to do. So, okay, let's get to work.
Later that evening after dinner, I finally felt gross and a little bit guilty about staying in bed all afternoon. It was really rainy and it was the perfect afternoon to kind of laze around, but I felt a little bit guilty because I really wanted to work on this sticker set, but I just didn't have the motivation to. But later that evening, I actually decided to power through it and it was really fun because I got to practice my brush lettering, which I haven't done in ages because I've been working with uh, felt tip markers for my brush lettering for a while. So it was nice and a little bit worrisome to practice with a actual brush and some watercolors, but it turned out great. I ended up using some of the brush lettered script words that I used to practice in the final fall set, which was nice. I used the words thankful and grateful in the actual sticker set which is great and it kind of encapsulates how i was feeling leading up to thanksgiving and in general fall just is a really nice season to reflect on what you're grateful for and and all the great things that you have in life but i'm gonna stop talking and let the music play while you watch me paint because it's kind of relaxing actually <music> That following day, I got home from work a little bit earlier because it was a pro D day, which means it is a professional development day. And I didn't have to do any teaching that day because I got to attend some cool sessions led by other teachers and other professionals in the education field. And I learned a lot and I felt really refreshed because I didn't have to teach that day. So it was a nice change of pace. And so I felt extra inspired to work hard that night and get some more painting done. details to this and then I worked on my own personal painting that I wanted to work on and then I redid all of the script uh, that I worked on yesterday I just didn't like how I don't know these just looked so I don't say contrived but yeah kind of actually these are a lot more loose and kind of my style um, these are more traditional looking I would say uh, but then I messed up or didn't really like how this orange sweater looked. I like how the other two look. 
so I redid that and then I thought I would do socks and then I wanted to play around with um, textures because I would put this in my journal I would just totally leave a blob of watercolor and, and have the cool watercolor bleeds just you know speak for themselves as like an art thing art element on my spread so I thought that might be a cool sticker and then just did another leaf but tried to mix tones so I usually do leaves in that you know distinct style where it's just pretty much one color and it's pretty uniform like the the way the paint is distributed but here I kind of like added some darker tones randomly and this one has a lot of paint on it so I, I don't know how it's gonna dry but we'll add details later it's about like four four o'clock I'm just gonna take a break um, and maybe research some cool ledgers that I can work on I do want to get these all scanned and I want to scan these in these are gonna be uh, for the circles and square washi stickers, but maybe I can use These two for the washi ledgers, so I don't want to add anything on top I wanted to go and add some cool textures with some pencil crayons just like scribble and and whatnot But maybe I will wait and scan these first then Draw and doodle on them then scan it back again because I just want to have these check textures um, scan so I can use it uh, for the for the two I guess two um, sticker sheets because I can use these as the background for the washi ledgers um, or the wonky ledgers because the wonky ledgers I just create on um, digitally but maybe I can add like a hand painted element to it so maybe add the grid lines on top of these colors and also match the uh, the squares and what are we calling it squares and circles washi sticker set but yeah that's an update got a whole bunch of fall theme colors it matches the tapestry that I'm working on matches my kind of I don't know print board mood board um, yeah I'm sorry for the pink light I have my grow light on for my succulents but yeah I'm gonna take a little break, AKA look at different textures for the washi stickers. Okay, bye. So this is the status of everything I want to scan. I'm gonna re-scan these and I think I'm gonna go for it. I might as well just design them and create the stickers so they're on the shop and people don't need to buy them, but at least they're up there. Um, yeah, I don't wanna wait a year until it's summer again for these to be back. So I have the cups. I made these textures. This one's a mixture of red and green. I know it turns into like a muddy brown, but I like brown, so that's fine. There's a sagey color and then two blues. I really like this blue. These are nice colors. This is a mix of red and green, which makes a really cool like olive-y color. And you can kind of see the hints of red. I'm probably gonna go for these colors. Um, this might be a little too light. This is nice too. And then these are the, for the fall stamps or sticker set. I made that little tree. Iteration of the socks. Friends in love. Thankful, grateful family. Two watercolor textures. Love how this one turned out. The striped sweater. More fuzzy socks. More fuzzy socks. These scribble trees. Um, leaf, uh, another tree, uh, watercolor texture, and then these like more abstract trees. Um, and then thankful, grateful. I, I don't know if I'm gonna go for these ones or the orange fonts, but we'll see. Um, more of these. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna scan this just so I have it, but I'm not happy with any of these. I like how these pumpkins turned out, and I'm gonna see if I can turn these scribbles into something, like maybe another tr scribble tree. Really like how that turned out. And then the fall sweaters. I love this one. It's so cute. I want a sweater like this. The scarf, the different pumpkins, and the acorns, and I don't like that one. But yeah, I think we might have enough for a stamp set actually. 
Um, we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna bring this to the scanner, which is downstairs, and yeah. It's like almost, what time is it? 7.21, so at seven I'm gonna stop because I like to uh, watch K-pop stuff with my sister. We're gonna watch some 17 comeback variety shows and then probably around 9, 9.30, I'll get back to work. Um, yeah, that's been the plan for most nights and then probably work till maybe 11 tonight. Uh, tomorrow I have a big day tomorrow uh, for school, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, bye. Okay, so I am at the desktop now. I don't keep this in my room because there's not enough space, but I'm gonna open up scanner. And this printer and scanner is pretty old, so um, it's not the best, but I have to hold it down just in case. So this is like the test run, and usually, uh, this is not the full scan, but I'll give you an overview of what it might look like after it finishes scanning. And I like to do a little bit of image correction right in here because I don't want it to scan like that. So let's see how well we can change this. Usually turn it on to manual and it kind of like lowers, kind of brings down the, um, like I lower the brightness a little bit. Um, it shouldn't be that orangey, I mean that red, so uh, I'll increase the like warmth in it and keep this right in the middle. I mean, it didn't really change it that much. Um, I'm gonna do it a four size in JPEG and I'm gonna call this fall sticker scans. And I'm gonna scan it. And I, you have to hold down. Maybe it's too too reddish. We'll see. Um, I might bring this into Snapseed first onto my iPad, and then sorry, I'm holding it down. Uh, so I'm gonna probably bring it into Snapseed because I mean, on the camera it looks a lot more red than it is, but it's still pretty red. So. I will scan that first and then import it into yeah, Snapseed, which is my photo editing app of choice. But I have a huge pile of scans to do, so it's going to be this a million times over. So, Although it took me a while to finish scanning everything, I think it was worth it in the end because these sticker sheets really showed the detail and the texture that you get when you use traditional media like pencil crayons and watercolor. Although I love how the first set of stickers turned out in which I used Procreate as the main app to create all of those stickers, this drop involves traditional media much more and I love that because that's what I'm used to and that's what I use every single day. And I absolutely love how these turned out. After I scanned everything in, I brought it all into Photoshop and I basically spent like a good three hours trying to isolate every single watercolor or pencil crayon element so that I can have it as a transparent PNG and then I can then manipulate it on a separate uh, sticker sheet base. And this took a really long time. Um, this is the hardest part with using traditional media in terms of creating stickers or creating any sort of print because um, it's nice to like paint and create your artwork um, in a traditional manner. But when you have to kind of import it into like a digital space like Photoshop, it does take some time because you kind of have to isolate um the paper and make sure that the scan didn't wash out any of the colors and there's just a lot of steps to it and then as you can see i'm trying to isolate all of the textures that i created and sometimes i like to take shortcuts but sometimes those shortcuts don't work so you have to manually like trace around the shape that you want and it's just it's just a lot of steps but i think it's worth it and i don't know i kind of like this stuff i don't like it at the moment but like when i 
when I look back on it, I do find it enjoyable and it makes me feel like I know much more about Photoshop than I actually do. Um, I'm a total newbie to Photoshop. I can only do certain things, but I think, I think that the things that I do know on Photoshop, I do them quite well and I can do them quite often. So this part, although three hours seems like it was a long time, I did have to go through like a million scans and, uh, and, and isolate a whole bunch of different layers because I wanted to digitize everything so I can pick from the best or my favorite elements and at that moment I didn't know which ones I wanted to include in the sticker sheet and whatnot so I thought I might as well just import and digitize everything right so that's what I did for a good three hours and I did this while um, I was watching like k-pop stuff with my sister um, I think we were watching 17 or something like that um, but I ended up just doing this and multitasking because you can still watch and listen while doing stuff like this and it was nice because I got so much done today and I think I filmed a little bit of a video clip talking about everything that I accomplished that night okay so I did some multitasking and I spent like a good I don't know from 7 to almost 10 that's a few hours three hours uh, working on this so this is every file or every element um, isolated and transparent. So if you take away the white background, it's all transparent and it's all in its own separate layer. So it's easy for editing. Um, there's that one and then this one. I have more than enough to make a sticker sheet. I went a little bit overboard. Um, oh, there's more. Oh, since that's copied, I think I can delete that actually. Don't save. Yeah, and then I have, um, I found these old brown leaves that I made a few from a while back. I painted this for a different project, um, but they turned out great. Uh, so I have, what else do I have here that I didn't get to show? Oh. We have, oh, I actually, these turned out great too. Um, I worked on that. They're all on their separate layer too. That's the other one. I'm probably gonna turn that into a stamp set as well too. I mean a sticker set, I keep saying stamp set. And then each of the watercolor textures are here now too. There's just a pink background so I can see if there's any um, like problems with it and if it's truly transparent. So it is. Um, so yeah. These are like the building blocks of what I can use for the stickers. And this is the last one. I think I really like these ones. Um, but yeah, super, super tiring. Been looking at the screen for a really long time, but I have all these files now that I can play with. Um, so that's great. I want to import it maybe into Procreate and add some more details, but honestly, like, these, I think these are good enough. Like, uh, let's, oops. Like, no. Oh. There's too many tabs open. Like, these, I think these turned out pretty good actually. Like, I think I'll just keep them loose and like, not too detailed because they look cute um, with the watercolor texture just, you know, being the main focal point to it. Um, and I kind of want to just do a stamp. I'm just like getting over ambitious, but, or too ambitious, but what I kind of just want to make like a sticker sheet with just brown leaves. Like that, that seems really up my alley. Like these would look amazing layered on a journal spread with like the rich brown tones and it's super neutral that you can use it in a lot of spreads. And if you have like a vintage -y aesthetic, this is totally up your alley. And I think it's like pretty nondescript, like you can use it in a lot of different types of spreads. It doesn't need to just be a fall spread. These ones on the other hand are definitely like fall in your face. It is autumn. Yeah, so. 
Oh, this turned out, these sweaters are so cute. Like, I want that one. Like, I want to own that. And I definitely wear this turtleneck too. This scarf's very cute as well. Um, and these scribble trees look so cute. They look better with a white background so you can see. Yeah, they're very, I don't know, whimsical. And then I like this tree as well. Um, yeah, where's that other tree? Very cute. The texture on it is crazy, but it's still transparent. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, you can see, I can layer it if I wanna do some interesting stuff with it. And I'm probably not gonna use all of this, or I can do two autumn sets, I don't know. I'm like really torn, because right now I can make like two fall inspired ones if I don't edit anything out, which I do wanna cut. Like I don't need these two acorns and not all the pumpkins look that great. But at the same time, like I also wanna do a brown leaves set and then, Oh, all of these textures are cool too. Oh, there's so many possibilities. I wish I had more time. Maybe I'll postpone the launch date and just like spend more time. Like, I don't know. Yeah, okay, I'm just rambling now. Okay, that is it. Um, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um, see you tomorrow. Hi, it's about 6 p.m. on Wednesday, September 24th. Uh, I got home a little bit later from work. Uh, busy day and yeah, lots of paperwork to finish and stuff. So um, I'm home. I have a good two hours to work on stuff. And then around 7 or 8, I think I'm going to take a little break. That rhymed. Um, but yeah, I want to work on the watercolor textures and finishing those washi stickers and then i tried opening this on procreate the fall stickers or at least one of the files and it says that it was maximum capacity or it was too large to open on my ipad so um we'll do that later but i think i'm not going to add any more um extra textures on it it's pretty textury enough i think these are good to go for the stickers i don't need to add any more details i want to keep the look very graphic and watercolory, not a word. Um, but my main concern is these. So I'm gonna save these into their separate um, PSD files and then open them up on the iPad to add some cool ledger lines. Okay, and I'm gonna listen to the new Twice album too. Okay, let's get started. It was a pretty chill night for me and I spent most of the night jamming out to William Singe while finishing up the different wonky ledger sets. About 10 o'clock on a Wednesday, I didn't film much of the work that I did today because I just was feeling really distracted. So yeah, uh, here we are pretty much to the end of the, the day. Um, I finished wonky ledgers too. The only exception is I need to recreate the title because I don't like how it looks. It kind of looks like modern calligraphy mixed with my regular handwriting and I kind of just want it to look like my regular handwriting like when I write in my journal. So I also did a quick uh, title mock-up for all the sticker sheets that I want to release and then I finally made the template for the circle stickers. Uh, well circle and square stickers and they're not going to be this color but i really like that color scheme so that's a good reference for next time but these are smart objects that i can um, edit on photoshop and just drop in the different textures that i want to add so if i free transform that texture i can move it and yeah it looks great um i just use a clipping mask actually so if you're wondering if you want a tutorial on this let me know um, but I am going to make a whole bunch of these. Uh, th these are the ones that I'm going to make. I'm going to make a s circles and squares one for Wonky Ledgers 1, Wonky Ledgers 2. And then I want to create um, another one with like a more abstract but subtle pattern just like this one. Um, because I want it to work in a bullet journal since the paper that I use is quite... 
it's quite matte. I want it to kind of resemble the different circles that I've been creating in my bullet journal and I want to be able to write on top of it. So I think a pretty subtle design at the background would look great. And obviously I want to go tonal or more monochrome because I don't want it to be too punchy and bold, unlike the circles and squares that I'm creating with the wonky ledgers textures that I made, if that makes sense. I don't know why I'm calling them textures, but this is, yeah, set number two. Um, and now I need to, I guess I, I, I'm going to not finish up this. Ugh, I can't English today. I'm sorry. I'm not going to finish this today. Um, I'm going to call it a night, but I am adding a few more sticker sheets. So I initially wanted to release four, then I dropped down to three, but now I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, six sticker sets or sticker sheets. And I'm considering doing like a, a master pack with all wonky ledgers. So wonky ledgers one, wonky ledgers two, and then the circle and square iterations of the wonky ledger set. So that's going to be like four sticker sheets. I, I kind of want to do that because these uh, stickers look a lot more bold compared to wonky ledges one. But yeah, there was a lot of trial and error in terms of creating this template. Um, but I'm really excited for this because I can totally see myself using this in my journal. As you can see, I do a lot of these squares and having these stickers, you know, ready for when I'm journaling is perfect. And you can get about, if you're doing um, days of the week, you can get a few weeks in. I think you can get three weeks in. So, I mean, 24. Yeah, you can get three weeks of spreads created with this in your bullet journal. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I haven't done a test print, so I don't know how big these circles are going to be. I know they're 1.3 inches in uh, terms of circumference. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But it is 10. I got to get to bed. Yeah, so I'll update you guys tomorrow. Okay, so um, before... I sign off for today. I made the executive decision to postpone the release because I want to do all six of these sheets now instead of three. So that's doubling the amount of work. And I don't think I can realistically get all of these sticker sheets made, photograph the thumbnails and edit them for Etsy and then make a video um, or a journal with me or even editing this vlog um, to promote it before Sunday which is the proposed release date so I am kind of at a loss now because I have nothing planned for uh, the, the Sunday video that's coming up so I might have to film something tomorrow but yeah, I think I'm going to postpone it to the following, um, I guess, Sunday. That would be, or, or maybe even in the middle of the week next week. Um, but yeah, I want to create more. And I think it'll be better to do a more substantial release because it's been a while. So yeah, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> um, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. That Saturday, I happened to wake up quite early. I like to sleep in on Saturdays. It's the only day that I usually do sleep in. But my body just woke up at 7, which is, you know, the normal thing for my body to do on a weekday. But I ended up just getting up and I actually started working on my health journal that morning. And I didn't even make coffee. I just went straight ahead and started journaling before even starting my day with a cup of coffee, which is really odd for me. And then after that, I, you know, did my morning routine and stuff. But it was interesting to just wake up and journal. It's something that I never really do, but it was very refreshing. And it was a nice, slow start to the day. It is Saturday the 28th and it's about 7.50. And I woke up maybe 20 minutes ago, but before I even started my day, I actually 
just created my health journal spread for this week um, because I know that I won't have time tomorrow since it's Sunday and that's usually a busy day for me and yeah so I just did this and I'm gonna get some coffee and start my day okay since I did wake up quite early, I made the most of that morning and had a slow start to the day. I had my diffuser on, I watered the plants, and then I decided to work on some of the few things that I had to do for Journal With Me number 50, which was a big kind of anniversary for my channel. So I finished uh, the freebie for Journal With Me number 50. Love how it turned out. I also finished filming. I am going to import all of the footage onto my hard drive and start editing on the big computer downstairs. Uh, but yeah, I finished that off, which is great. Um, I don't really want to do some editing and I kind of want to get outside because oh yeah, it's blown out, but it is so nice out. <laughs> I had so many tasks to do for the sticker release, but I ended up abandoning that and going to Gastown with a friend because I just needed to get out and enjoy my Saturday out. It was actually so nice and it was actually a really sunny and nice day in Vancouver, which was a nice break from all the rain. Uh, it's Saturday night. It's about 10 o'clock and before I went to sleep, I just wanted to work on the fall sticker sheet and I think it looks great. Um, I didn't use all of the elements that I created, as you can see, a lot was omitted, but for the sake of editing it down, I think this looks pretty good, and it encapsulates what I think about when I think of fall. Uh, yeah, it seems very orangey, um, on screen, but I promise it's not as orangey. Oh, no, that's a lie, it's pretty bright orange, but I think... I think when it prints out, it'll become a little less, like, neon -y orange, um, unlike what you're seeing on the screen. But yeah, I'm glad I can cross this off the list. I just need to assemble the camp one, and then we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so it's about 10.30ish, and I finished this camping uh, sticker set. And I love how this turned out. It's so vintagey and has that retro 70s, 80s feel to it. Uh, especially this um, gouache painting of this Volkswagen Beetle. I love how it turned out. I hope that when it prints, it still has that same kind of blocky, acrylic-y paint feel to it. Like the shadows and, and how the highlights look look pretty cool it still looks better in person i feel like you still lose stuff when you scan it but this looks pretty good um everything else is great i'm really liking how this looks and i like how organic it feels and the whole feel of all the stamps and stickers well i'm not producing stamps all the stickers that i've created for this launch are you know heavily um, grounded with traditional media so I used actual paint and actual pencil crayons to create this which is nice it's a little bit of a sharp contrast from the first sticker set that I created which I only used um, my iPad I'm actually watching catnip right now but um, yeah I only used my iPad to create all the artwork so it was all digital but this time it's a mix between digital um, media and um, traditional media so yeah, I'm really liking how it looks and I like how these ones don't have a title just because yeah, not all sticker sheets need a title, right? But this looks very cool. I love it. And I'm probably going to head to bed. Okay, good night. That Sunday, we were blessed with another sunny day, which is crazy because we got two sunny days in a row, which doesn't happen here very often. And I just had a chill day. I was getting a little bit stressed with all the sticker release stuff. So I did other activities to get my mind off of that. And it was just such a nice and beautiful sunny day. I also went to Nando's, which is one of my favorite chicken restaurants. And that was delicious. And later that afternoon and evening, I worked on more sticker stuff. Hey everyone, it's Sunday night and I had some time to work on the sticker sheets and I finally finished um, the last design for the Etsy release. So this is the abstract 
circle and squares sticker sheet. They are gonna be uh, one inch circles and squares that are perfect for bullet journaling and whatnot. So yeah, I basically spent the whole evening just working on these uh, really abstract textures with kind of distinct shapes that I like to use in a lot of my artwork, like the clouds and the line work leaves, but it's abstracted obviously because they're cut off. Um, like this one's an actual painting, but when you look at it, when it on the sticker sheet, a lot of it is cut off, so it looks more abstract. So yeah, I like how it looks. It's very organic and yeah tomorrow we're gonna work on um, the cricket side of things i don't have a cricket the silhouette um so we're gonna print and cut a whole bunch and then i need to photograph them and put them up on etsy so still a lot more to do i don't think i'm gonna make it to the wednesday release but we will power on okay good night first and it's about 6 p.m. I got home late from work today uh, and you know I did some work I just finished up some work that I needed to complete at home um, for tomorrow just you know plans for school and whatnot um, but that's besides the point um, I really wanted to work on the stickers today and I had the full intention of doing that but I think before I get to it I just want to work on stuff that I find very creative i mean not that the sticker release is is um not creative but i feel like it's putting a lot of pressure and weight on me so i'm gonna do something that i have been wanting to do and it's to finish up the setup of this bullet journal i've been using it just for, um to refer uh to my notes but i do want to do my october spread here and I also want to port all of my information from my kind of Job's journal planner. This has all of the stuff um, about the videos that are coming up and whatnot. And I want to import it here. So I want to add the information here, not September, sorry, October, and add all of the YouTube information here. And then probably for the month spread, I'm just going to keep it to personal stuff and and long-term tasks so that's the plan I'm gonna work on that and I actually finished this bullet journal so I want to I don't know if I want to do a flip through but I do want to add like a little 2018 to 2019 here and then today is also October 1st so I don't know if I can commit to Inktober but I just did some fun rough sketches for ideas for if I want to do Inktober I would follow furry little peaches or Sean's um, prompts but seeing as how busy October is already I don't know if I'm gonna commit to it I just like the idea of having this if I do want to do it oops uh, that was my fault so yeah I don't think I'm gonna do this I might do the first illustration which is a snail but I'm not gonna you know force myself to do an illustration each day because I know I'm not gonna keep up because of everything that's happening in October Okay, I'm gonna get to work now. Bye. Hi, so I was pretty productive during the time that I wasn't filming. It's about like 7.30. So I finished my October spread. This is for personal things only. I'm only gonna add Job's Journal or like other YouTube Etsy stuff here if it's like a big thing. So I have a Etsy release planned on the 6th. I have the people I wanna keep in touch with. I have my long-term to-dos. And then I have my habit tracker. And then I start my day-to-day -day tasks here. So yeah, I'm finally, yeah, finally using this journal. And also all the monthly spreads, these are all for Job's journal and Etsy stuff. So if there's an Etsy to do, or if I need to kind of timeline something, I'm putting it here. I know it's a little bit overboard having two planners because I have this one or two monthly spreads. I have this one and I have this one, but I don't know, this is more of a visual look and this will have other notes because I know that I won't, I can't fit all my personal stuff here 
and I can't fit all my Etsy stuff on here so I thought just separating it and I don't want it in two different planners just because that's what I was doing and might as well just streamline it so I have um, Etsy and anything Job's Journal related here and then I have personal stuff here so this is gonna look pretty empty but I thought I could add like something I'm grateful for each day if I don't have anything on for that day um, yeah just building in some daily gratitude into my bullet journal and yeah so this is all finished this was the last day I just don't want to finish this because it's a nice start to have my first daily entry to be October 1st so I just decided to end it here and I only had one page here since the other pages I um, used the perforated pages and tore them out for other things so I actually finished this and it's quite chunky so yeah I added um, a label so this is all good to go um, now I'm just gonna binge watch TV with my sister and then I'm gonna oops and then I'm gonna complete um, some stuff on the silhouette studio for the sticker sheet release so i'm gonna multitask okay yep that's it and i also need to update my health journal so this is last week's spread this is this week's spread and it's already tuesday and i forgot to fill these in so my bad uh, but yeah i'm loving my planning setup and i hope i don't miss this size because i have finally upgraded to an A5 and I don't know I really like the A6 I don't know if I'm gonna fully like the A, A5 size but we have to give it a try first okay I will see you all in a little bit it is October 6th I think my last clip was from a while back um, I stopped recording because I totally forgot but it is the end of Saturday night. It is 11 p.m. already, and I'm pretty much uh, ready to go to bed. Excuse the sound because I am doing some cutting for the sticker sheets. So we are all done. All seven, there's seven designs now. So we have the camp one. Circles, circles and squares with the washi grid, wonky grid, wonky ledgers. Gosh, come on, Joe. Um, number two, this is the new design. I don't think I got to talk about it, but it's the abstract doodles. As you can see, it's just fun doodles. It's the OG wonky ledgers, but in the circles and squares. Um, format and then we have the fall one it's kind of thanksgiving-y fall and whatnot but that's one of them and then wonky ledgers too and then the newest design i added it last wait one second Ooh, it's somewhere here these are all the sheets of stickers i still need to cut so there's a lot of cutting to do but this is the last design so it is the doodles it's the same as the circles and squares so I created these designs for the circles and squares washi but then I mean stickers but then I thought I would make them into washies as well so I really like how this looks it's kind of like the drawing style that I've been going for really wavy and liney um, yeah so this is kind of like a duo but I think they turned out great actually um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye one it's October 7th and this is the last clip of the vlog all of the sticker sheets have been pretty much cut this is all this the stickers um, I have a few more to cut but I wanted to end the vlog here and I wanted to showcase the final sticker sheets because it's been a really long process it almost took two and a half weeks to get here. Um, I didn't intend it for, me, for it to be that long, but um, the creative process is a little bit tricky when you have a full-time job and sometimes you're just tired. But I'm really proud of all seven sticker sheets. Um, the photos will be appearing on the screen right now. 
Um, but by the time you're watching this, the Etsy store should have been updated with all the sticker sheets. So go check it out. And I would love it if you could support the shop. Um, it really means a lot to my small business. And I put a lot of time and effort um, creating this as you've seen in this studio vlog. And I'm really excited with how everything turned out. Um, let me know what types of stickers you want to see in the future. And um, happy Thanksgiving for all my Canadians. And I just hope that you're all having a wonderful day. I know this was a really long video from... I haven't edited it yet, but um, from the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be a long one. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, Creator Box uh, is going to be shipping, I think, in November, if any of you have pre-ordered that. And I think that's it. Um, there will be more Etsy updates in the future. My next project after I finish this is the... Um, Junk journal inserts. I want to create new ones because I bought some really cool vintage papers at a shop recently. So that's it for now. I will see you all next time. And the link to the, the stickers and whatnot and the Etsy store will be down below. Uh, take care, everyone. Thank you and goodbye.